This is 106.9 The Juice. <laughs> this is 102.9 The Rock. Are you gonna look at the camera? Are we starting? I think it's, I think we've started. Yeah, it's started. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is a bunch of, we're gonna tell you guys a bunch of jokes and- 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 um, It's gonna be really entertaining. We're gonna do sketches. We'll do sketches. I did, okay, wait, should we start again or no? No, we're starting. We're starting? This is it. Okay, is it? this is so bad. Should we start again? <laughs> no. We have to start again, please. No, this is it. Please? This is it. Nope. All right, fine. So yesterday I went, no, can we start again? No. Where'd you go yesterday? <laughs> I went for a coffee and I, and I think people th expect me to be really crazy and zany. And then I was what? Just like <laughs> Just the, <laughs> holding these it. mics like this is so funny. <laughs> it's, um, Keep going. It's it's fine. It just is what it is. And and I realized how boring I was. And then I went, oh no worries, just starting a podcast today. Yeah. And I'm actually not that funny at all. Yeah, I'm also not like I don't listen to podcasts or watch them, <laughs> so I don't even really know like what <laughs> is supposed to go down. The closest thing to a podcast that I watch and listen to is hive mind shout out yeah. hive mind we love hive mind um but that's listen, not a podcast i well do I you just watch it do you ever i, I watch it. i was literally gonna ask you do you do your makeup and listen and listen to it but i do the dishes when i watch yeah you know what hive i mean mind. well you hive don't mind. have to look at it yeah, yeah yeah hive mind is my dishes is my dishes i put it right up on the top of the i like uh open up the cabinet yeah set some plates up yeah so they're like up here and then i put my phone right yeah right there and then I put Hive Mind on. I was at a show the other day and um, and I was like having a drink after with, with a bunch of people and we, and I was probably with four people and they were all talking about how the podcast is dead right in front of me. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you know, it's just like, it's just like a, a dead art form now. Like, I feel like it's had its peak and now like, could you imagine, they were like, could you imagine starting a podcast right now? And I was like, no, I was like, that'd be fucking so stupid. That'd be so, so dumb. And they were like, just go, hammering it. Like, like, okay, picture a guy and a girl. Two, uh, like, they're both white. They're sitting on a chair. Okay, say it's Navy. And then they start a podcast. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to show my face in public for about <laughs> 25 years. And I was just... I think I did. I was. I think I left shortly after because it just bummed me out. I would have left right away. Yeah. Actually, no. I wanted to. I would have said, "I'm doing exactly that tomorrow," and you guys can go fuck yourselves. This is the thing. I didn't say anything. I just. But it didn't discourage me at all. In fact, it made me want to do it even more because if this gets 15 views, that is also funny. Isn't? Do you do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even when my videos do poorly, I think it's even funnier. Really? Yeah, for real. Mm. You don't? No. Well, maybe. No, I do actually. It makes me feel like I've, I, it's it's super like the joke that I did is super funny and people just don't get it. That's what I mean. I'm like, wow, I'm actually just smarter than everyone and no one understands this extremely niche comedy. It's just it's it's highbrow is what it is. It's just uh something people will never understand, you know. <laughs> People um, don't really get me. Should we get... Okay, let's do some... So, well, hi, start. everybody. My name's Veronica. My name's Kyle. And my name's Veronica. And my name's Kyle. And I'm short. And I'm tall. And I'm girl. And I'm boy. <laughs> and I'm pizza. And I'm pepperoni. <laughs> and I'm chocolate. Well, I want to be chocolate, too. You want candy? No, I want to also be chocolate. Okay, I'm also chocolate. chocolate. And we have started a podcast, everyone, and this is it. Yeah. Oh. So. So. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's 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 get into it. Should yeah. we get into it? Let's. Get, I, I, I'm going to interview you, <laughs> and then you it. interview me for now. Let's get into it. Should we get in? No, that's just what I feel like what people say on podcasts. Yeah. Should we get into it? 
Let's just get into Let's it. Just get They've into been it. into it. Let's just get into this, it. Let's also, just... I'm very insecure about what just happened about this whole intro. If Let's just get in. into it. Let's just get into it. Okay, let's just get into it. Let's just get into um, it. Um. All right. So I go first. Kyle, what's your first? So you. No, this is actually legitimate. You just moved here to New York City, where we're filming this. Yes, I just moved here From to New Canada. York City. From Canada. You are an immigrant. Not yet. Okay. I guess because I don't like live here, live here, but I live here. Okay. That's the goal. That's the goal. I mean, you you have an apartment. Yes. Here. You live here. Yes, for the time being, but I do want to live here. Um, <laughs> this is so boring. I'm from Canada, mm. born and raised um, in a little town um, in southern Ontario, I guess, southern northern Ontario, middle, and uh, yeah, I my parents are. Uh, Polish immigrants they moved to Canada five years before I was born and I grew up speaking Polish and say uh, something say welcome to our podcast in Polish um Dzień dobry. I'm gonna say that that's hi okay say welcome to our podcast zapraszamy do naszego podcast okay that's <laughs> Something, something like that. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Um, and then I... What, am I supposed to tell my whole life story? Oh, fuck. What am I supposed to tell my whole fucking life story? No, yeah. I was just I was just going to ask how, how, it's, how it's been. How it's been living in New York. Yeah. I do miss home, but I also am having a great time here. And everyone's really nice. I'm overwhelmed. Like, Can we talk about how you just get recognized every time... The three of us go somewhere, me and Michael. Everyone's just like, "Oh my god, you're from TikTok!" <laughs> and they joke. go, "Act." Is this that's a joke? Um, that's not a joke. That happens all the it time. It happens. It happens. I have a picture of people taking oh, pictures yeah. with you. Actually, I have this curse right now where whenever we're extremely hungover and I look like shit and ass combined, <laughs> I don't get hungover. By the way. Actually, you kind of don't, but whatever. I just looked terrible, and um, and then someone will recognize me and want to take a picture then because I don't take pictures very often, but it's then when I look absolutely like I have come from, you know, from the dead, And uh, but everyone's really nice. I did yesterday shout out Brandy Melville. Mm. Um, we love him. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at fashion. I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying. I'm trying. We'll get you there. We'll get me there. We're listen. I'm gonna be an it girl. We'll get you. I'm there. gonna be an it girl soon. And so I went to Brandy, Brandy Melville because it's just easy, and I'm like, great. You know, I don't support one size fits all. I don't support that shit. I really don't. Okay. Isn't Brandy Melville kind of like that? Aren't it they is. Like small sizes only. They're they're they have one size. Oh really? Everything's made in one size. It's it's terrible. It's really bad. Did I go? Yeah. Even pants. Or do they not yes. make pants? I think pants too. I'm not too sure. I've never bought their pants. I feel like but, they have to have small. But they have like large. a good basic, like whatever. So I went in, and then three of the girls knew me, and they hooked me up with a little discount. See, three of the girls knew you. That counts as three recognitions. Does it? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, it's. But it's. But then now, I was telling Kyle this the other day. Where it's now going to my head, where I think I'm more famous than I am famous, th whatever. So I get on the subway every time, and I'm like, and I'm like showing people my face because I'm like, I'm like, yep, come say hi, come say hi. I'm actually really fucking nice, you guys. I mean, <laughs> I know you're the star, but people recognize me too. They just don't, they don't come up to me. I bet you. I'm I just, bet you. Honestly, if I'm I was more intimidating. I was gonna say that if I knew I you from a video face. with whatever, I would not come up to you. First off, I would never. I'm just. I'm just shy. That do you I think? I, do you think I have an intimidating face? Yes, 100. percent You're intim You're intimidating, but you're you're not when you get to know. But you weren't to me right away. People have told me that I like. I just look like a dick just based on the just based on my face. And well, you have I, a vibe. Not even that, just the way I like. <laughs> you know, stand there sometimes on the train like this. No, you don't. You stand like this. So you do it at the bar too sometimes of like, it's cool guy. You give off like cool I don't do guy. that though, but you it's not do. intentional. But it's not intentional. I'm That's not what like, I mean. I think I'm it's because like you're shy like, sometimes. You know, I'm not like trying to do that. I'm just 
slipping by, slipping on the train. Excuse me. It's, but it does. It's like a quiet power. Beer, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a beer. Can I get one beer? Um, actually, <laughs> do you have non-alcoholic beer? I don't do really want to drink tonight. Do you drink non-alcoholic? No, if I go out and I'm not drinking, I get um. Seltzer. Soda water with cranberry juice and a lime. Oh. Because it looks like a cocktail. And people don't ask you. But well, yeah, it just looks like a cocktail and then like you, I can pretend to be drunk and then I can like go like take advantage of like, you know, drunk girls. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this drink is crazy. crazy. What's what? your number? My apartment's only two blocks away. <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't do that. But, I don't even take no, girls home no. from the bar. I've he doesn't. Never, I've never done you'd that. Think, you'd think someone like Kyle would. Kyle's very, um, uh, I, I don't know what the word is. Not picky, but you're very, you just don't do that. You're not a fuck boy. You're the opposite. Mm-hmm. You're a. I think it's, I think the word is the, incel. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. Write that down and write that down. That's not um, true either. But I was going to ask you, because uh, first impressions mm. of like, of, well, first, what, Kyle, why don't you tell them how we met? Mm. So we had a lot of questions about that. I saw a funny video. Do you remember which one? It was the basketball one. Oh, yeah. I saw a funny video on Instagram of Veronica years ago, like, not, I mean, no, like 2021. Three years ago. Yeah. Or three or three two years. A, two and a half. Two and a half. Really? Yeah. Oh, 2021. Damn. Okay. Um, I saw a video. I thought it was funny. It looked like she was in Brooklyn. And Michael and I had been, you know, shooting stuff and just moved here. So we were trying to kind of just, I don't want to say get a crew, but we were just like, you know, interested in meeting people in the scene here. And so I was like, oh, I'll, I'll follow this girl and see what's up then she followed me back and then we didn't talk on instagram for probably like a year no it's like six months and then michael and i had this idea for a oh, sketch really? and he was like who's a funny girl that we can cast in this and i was like oh like there's this girl veronica that lives here i follow her let's mm-hmm. hit her up and then i showed your page to michael and he was like what how have you never shown me this girl she's hilarious mm-hmm. and then he because i think and I then po- he hit you up yeah I had like uh like not no followers but just like my friends. Oh yeah, at it was that like time. it wasn't I wasn't like doing two thousand or yeah. three thousand or something. And I mean, you kind of were doing videos, but not kind of like not like just like yeah, like yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, Michael hit you up to do the sketch, and then we found out that you were in Canada, mm-hmm. not in, in New York, Toronto. But you were like, I'm coming in a few months, mm-hmm. and Michael and I had planned on shooting this other thing and then she came to visit for you were here for what a month a month when you did that I was shooting something else mm-hmm. and then yeah we just met up at a bar coyote club yeah bed the day i landed the day that you got here mm-hmm. wow yeah that's crazy and then yeah just we all hit it off and now we're fucking making shit and <laughs> and now i'm sleeping now i'm sleeping on our couch mm. two times a week and well, we shot Love Machine. I forgot to mention that part of it. Yeah, the short. There, there's a short. I don't know if people know about it. But there's a short we made, um, and it was. Sometimes we we were very good. We, we work hard, but some. But it was definitely one of those things where we're like, yeah, we'll get to it. And then I had to extend my trip by three days. Yeah, and I feel I was, like you were leaving. The next day. I did leave the next yeah. day. We filmed till three in the morning. Yeah. And I left the next day. Yeah. But still we extended. And then we started at 9 p.m. Even though we did not have to do that. Crazy. But classic. And um, yeah, we shot this short that's on No Budge and on Vimeo. It was a Vimeo staff pick. <sighs> uh, yeah. I and actually got a Vimeo staff pick uh, tattoo once we got that. Cause, let's see it. Uh, not right now, but... Um, the second that we got that, I was like, I love Vimeo. I got the Vimeo tattoo. <laughs> that that right actually here. a really funny tattoo. Staff pick. I have it. You have it. You have it. 
And it's not supposed to be funny. I've it's, never seen it, though. It's because, well, I mean, how often am I fucking... In your boxers? Yeah. Michael's in his boxers a lot. Michael's in his boxers showing us um, the end of uh, the Batman. Dark the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight and Batman with Robert Pattinson and Saving Private Ryan when we're all um, just in on a Saturday. That's our Saturday night is... And then... It's just, that's Michael. what happens when you're... That's what happens when you're in film. That's what happens. Guys, that's our lives. Um, yeah, Love Machine. We shot it. We hit it. No budge. Vimeo staff pick. Uh, everyone saw it. Uh, we show, show it in it. Theaters. 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 The, the That Michael rented. The screenings. <laughs> no, Michael does these um, film screenings here in New York with a, uh, an array of short films. Uh, that The next one's, if this comes out, November. November 2nd. Michael, when's the, sh- the, second. the second? It's the first. first. It's November first. It's November first. Um, follow us or like just look on Instagram. We'll post about it. Um, yeah, and we shot it, and it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. It's gonna, it's gonna sell, sell out, out, so you, you better, better get, get a ticket. ticket. Um, yeah. So then we fil- shot that and filmed that, and then it was like I think it was our first time like working together. And, um, and there was, th- uh, the chemistry was, oh my God, between the three, but truly the, between the three of us, it really, I think we're all like hyperactive and, and it works well. So, um, yeah. And then, he's, and then, uh, where did you go after that? Did you go from yeah, New I, York to LA? I moved to LA. I was in LA. From New York? Or did you go to, you went back home first and then to LA? I went back home for a month, worked at a cookie shop. Right. Shout out Craig's Cookies and th- in Toronto. And then I moved to LA. Right. End of August, like beginning of September. Lived there for until March. Mm-hmm. And then I'd come here for like screenings and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and another short we shot. March. Not this year. This year. Whoa. That's yeah. crazy. Isn't that crazy? And then can you, are you allowed to talk about? Yeah, I think I, TV? yeah, 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 I can talk about it. The, then in March I booked, um, uh, the lead of a new Hulu Amazon series. There's a variety article about it. So I think I could talk about it. Um, yeah, yeah and it's called Davy and Jonesy's Locker and I play Davy. and then that was shot back in Toronto. So it was one of those things where classic you leave home and then at least like for Canadian artists, <clears throat> that's the thing where the second you leave, they're like, no, come back. We'll give you something, and then. But it wasn't a Cana- It's not like a Canadian show. No, is it? it's like, on. Is the director Hulu, we don't have Hulu. Canadian the yeah. director. Oh, the whole team is Canadian, but like oh. it's gonna be on Hulu, which we don't have Hulu. Hulu is only in America. I gotcha. So, and then I think I don't know what else it'll be on, but um, so that's coming out at some point. And then I shot a movie that I can't talk about right now, but the movie, the movie. But yeah, and then I, um. And, and then I got I'm, the fuck out of there, and then, and then came I moved right here. here, and I was like, I want to move here because I like New York more. You like New York? I like New York. I didn't want to say more, mm-hmm. but I like LA because I'm Brett. We love Brett. We love James. We love Courtney. All my good friends there. I mean, I I still love LA, but mm-hmm. I spent four years there and was just ready to be somewhere else. And I've been here, and I like both places, but I don't like LA enough to move back there from here you know what i mean but i still like them both yeah for sure i want to like spend time there and do whatever there but um yeah i think i always tell people this is this is my spiel when people ask me i'm always like yeah you know i like to get a beer and go to a comedy show i don't want to go for a hike and that's how i describe that i'm more of a new york person interesting rather than enough you know what's funny i would prefer the hike than beer in a comedy show. Really? Yeah. But that's not the that's not the part about But you don't even get up like New York. You'd rather go out like seven in the morning for a hike for a hike. For sure. A nice, like beautiful view in LA hike. And like, really? Yeah. Rather than like walking around the city with a coffee? No, that's fine too. That's what but I prefer. I'm saying I'm not like if I was choosing between a hike, a hike or, or a beer, beer in a comedy, comedy show. I'm going with a hike. I'm going with the beer and coffee that's show fine. for sure. So we ca- we're allowed to be different. Yeah, that's the name of the podcast. Different. It's called Being Different is Okay. okay. 
boy girl different and get used to it, it because if you don't then, then you're, you're not gonna, gonna, gonna do, do well, well in this, this life. life that's the name of the podcast so how did so kyle tell me about what you do what's what's your job and what's what uh kyle is kind of a kind of a jack of all trades some would mm, say mm-hmm. and what and what a master of none I'm not good at anything like you're really- great at everything. Oh, okay. Especially being a great friend. So <sighs> well, when I was in LA, I was primarily working on music, mm-hmm. uh, production and writing. Um I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I worked most mostly with this artist um who has become a really good friend of mine named Fabo, P H A B O. And we put out a lot of stuff when I was out there, which was cool. But when I was there, I was, you know, like still working jobs. Um, like I worked for Jared Leto, which was an experience. Can you say that? Yeah, I'm allowed to say that, of course. I don't know. I can't say it what feels... went down in there. Like I signed an NDA. What did go down in there? I can't say. Can you give us one story? <clears throat> um, did you? Did anyone hear that? My My throat just went... They probably heard that. Yeah, I don't know. There's so many. Maybe that's something we could get into at a at a later date, and we can Come on. we can make a clip. Give that's us like, something. A I don't little know. Something. I can't think of something specific. There's so many things. You know what I will say? Actually, mm. he, Jared Leto gets a really bad rap. Bad rep. Bad rap. Bad rep. Bad rep. Reputation. Yeah, but I, th- I feel like people say bad rap. I feel like that's just a speech impediment, Damn. and it's rep. Um, look it up. It's definitely bad rep. Reputation. Yeah, but I feel like some sometimes it, I don't know. Anyway, um, we could keep talking about that. I feel like <laughs> I'm looking it up. Okay, go. Yeah, I have a password. Yeah, I do know. you know it? Yeah, I think so. In recent years, bad rep has occasionally been accepted since it's so widely used, but bad rap is the original phrase. So it's I best to stick with the latter. Did I say I didn't? I wasn't really like dying on any hill. I was yeah, just you like, kind of were. No, I wasn't. I was like, I was like, I literally said, you can go back and everyone said, I was. I, I, this is what I said. I don't care. So anyway, I feel like he gets a bad rap and people think he's weird and like, you know, there's just all, I feel like often like stories about him that people are like, he's such a weird dude. He did this for this movie, whatever. Um, but he, he was like genuinely super kind, very like when he would like come down to, you know, be in like the sort of like office setting. Um, I never felt like intimidated. There was never any sort of, uh, I don't know. There was just no weirdness. Like he was just like actually a really really cool person. And then on top of that, the like weirdest thing is that he just had really like tall requests for the people working for him, but not in a sense of like, go get me this in a sense of like, this is what I want to happen with either my show or this event or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to figure out how to make that happen. And at first you'd be like, damn, like this is so out of this world. Like I'm, there's no way I'm going to figure this out. And then you figure it out. And so he kind of was like pushing you to do things a little more. Doesn't he run a cult? Isn't that a thing? Um, That there's like, there's something dark about like a rumor. His fan base. is young. No, they're not young. They're, I mean, they're all ages, but they're not young. They're like, seven, they're like sixteen. No, they're all ages. Um, they like refer to the fan base, which I, I believe they call the echelon, as like they like joke and say like, yes, this is a cult, but right, it's just like I would say, just like a really strong fan base. Does he glow in person? I feel like his skin is amazing. Oh yeah, like, just the way he looks is crazy always he's like 54 i think yeah and, and also just like really amazing fit and goes climbing in uh yosemite just like on a on a weekend is whatever. he ni- like is he normal um, you know what i mean like down to earth he's down to earth but he's not normal but i don't think yeah. anybody at that level is normal that's true interesting yeah okay and then how long did you do that that's the tea on jared leto I did that for um, only a year, and then I got let go. We'll Ask maybe us get in into person. it. Ask us maybe in we'll get into it at, at a later yeah. podcast day when we actually look into what we can say and not say. I know, but um, we didn't think about this. This is very run and gun, but 
but and also I just I don't know if that information is really public or not right um, and if it's not I'm not a lot I can't just be like this is where he lives yes you, why do you ever need to know where someone lives even if you're the biggest fan in the world I mean to be fair um in Toronto everyone knows where well I think he raps about it where Drake lives mm. the bridal path and and that's like a tourist thing like when my friend was from out of town. We like brought it or my friends brought him to Drake's, Drake's house. Drake's house. And you know, you just kind of give a wave and you, you just stare at the gate. Is it insane? There, yeah. And there's it's no. It's got to be crazy. I filmed on that street for a project I did and I would just pass it every day and I was like, oh my God. But like the thing is, it's in Canada, there's no such thing as celebrities. He's like the only one. So much so that Drake is the mascot of Toronto. He's yeah. not even like a celebrity. He's like everything is like the six donuts or like whatever. Like he's just he like He did that to a, himself the, though. But it's but he loves it and, and everyone loves it. I know, I know. Yeah. But, but I feel the, like other people like Justin Bieber is Canadian. But n- Justin Bieber's Canadian, but like he left when he was like fourteen he, or he doesn't whatever. rep it. He doesn't no, rep well Canada. he was barely Can- like he was just like Ryan Gosling. Canadian doesn't rep it's it. Same thing, but they left when they were like fourteen when they went on. Doesn't rep it. I know. You know who does? Who I hate? Ryan Reynolds. Is he Canadian? Yeah. I would never have known. Vancouver. But same thing though. They were like young when they moved. Yeah. And I don't know if I I don't really rep it either. But I yeah you do. But I rep it in my real life, but not on like my what I do. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like no one knows I'm from Canada. Right. Kind of. I, it's in my bio, but. Right, But right, I love, right. I do love Canada. I love it a lot. Um, so anyway. So anyways. <laughs> I was working on music out there. And then uh, I met people out there, particularly my friend Andrew, who got me really into clothing and just like design in general. And I was, I don't want to say I was like not fashionable, but I definitely started like really paying attention to the way I dress way more after just like meeting him and other people out there. And then I started just like, I I bought a sewing machine and just started messing around with customizing clothing. And then it didn't take off by any means, but like I had to learn uh, like Photoshop and Illustrator and all this stuff just to, you know, do these things that I wanted to do with clothing. Mm -hmm. And simultaneously, my friend Dan here in New York was doing the same thing, but with shoes. He was like customizing shoes, doing all this stuff. And for him, it really did take off. He was like, like overnight kind of blew up. Um, And then when he got out of customizing and decided to manufacture his own shoes, he was like, if you come to New York for the summer and help me build this brand for the summer, you can stay with me. You don't have to pay What's the brand? It's called Dybbuk. D-Y-B-B-U-K. And he was like, if if you come out here for the summer, you stay with me. You don't mm-hmm. have to pay rent. And I didn't know that. I'll pay you and we'll figure out like, you know, how to get the clothes side going. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool. I could take a break from LA. I'll come out to New York for the summer. And then that was 2022. No, 2021. It was 2021. Mm-hmm. And then I just stayed. I was like, this is, it's, well, it was also going well. Like I didn't have any real reason to go back to LA. I even right. like moved all my shit when I came over here. And now and I, now I basically do that like full time with him. And then also, um, you know, I still make music, but I have my own thing, trampoline that I still Your own brand. put a lot of time into. Mm-hmm. And then. Now motherfucking TikTok and now we're TikTok and acting baby. and shit. <laughs> the past month, <laughs> but it's yeah, it's been fun. And the, when but did Ma- Michael's our third, by the way? Michael came the same our, time. We're all dating each other too. Yeah. Um, Michael is. Michael came the same time I did. Yes, but he's like the direct our like director, and he films everything, and our and our editor, and also sometimes makes. He's just like the third one of us, but yeah. um, he'll make an appearance. We we didn't let him on this time because. Um, he can talk. He can talk. <laughs> Michael, Michael's. It's usually the people behind the camera that are the most quiet. We're the mo- we're the most quiet. He's he's the loud one of the yeah. of the friend group. Yeah. Um. Fun. And then now I was gonna ask you something earnest, but I don't. Whatever. Right. I was gonna say what about fashion? Like why why do you like fashion? Like what's 
Because I think a lot of people kind of forget that that's also like an art form, mm-hmm. even though it's like you see it all every people wearing clothes. People wearing clothes most of the time, not in my life. Yeah. <laughs> not in my not in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> but why? So. <laughs> I don't want to say it's like this. The generic answer would be like it's just a really cool way to express yourself. Mm-hmm. But I think it more so kind of it lets people know something about me mm-hmm. and the type of person that I am or, you know, my beliefs, I guess, to some degree, um, based on what I wear. Cause a lot of like clothing and brands sort of have like, a, I don't know, you have to like kind of align with their philosophy, like their philosophy is like designers to some degree. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of stuff that I like is like really ironic. Um, like even like camo is ironic. It's not yeah, like yeah, yeah, and it's really in right but now. But it's cool mm-hmm. at the same time, and um, yeah, so it like says something to be seen wearing this, or to see someone else wearing mm-hmm. something. You know How, what I mean? uh, yes, I do know what you mean, and especially in New York, everyone's just like so fashionable, and I I think like right now is a time where everyone can wear kind of like anything they want. Yeah, where every like. I Being think a ironic, just fell out of my nose. <laughs> I didn't see it, but I heard it, and it was like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but even like too. we talk about mine too. Mine are so chapped. It's dry out here. Yeah, it's fall. Um, I, what well, we taught we one of our biggest inspos is like, uh, Young Lean, and he kind of started in whatever twenty fifteen fourteen wearing like earlier ironic clothes. Yeah, earlier. And now it's like... He started his music. Maybe I'm wrong about this and people are going to go crazy in the comments, but his music was <laughs> ironic. We get 15 views. Yeah. <laughs> There's one comment and it's it's about this. It's about, it's about the book. People yeah. are going to go crazy in the comments. They're going to have a debate. Um, but his his music started as like kind of being ironic. Yeah. Like it was not... It's kind of funny. Yeah, but yeah, it was. I it mean, is. he was he was being serious, but it was still yeah, ironic. It was like you know, Swedish kid making mm-hmm. like rap music, totally whatever. And and the way he would like the, the the one song. What's the one that also blew up like Ginseng. this year? Yeah, Ginseng oh, the, Strip. Oh yeah, yeah. Bitches coming. Go. Yeah, yeah. One. He's saying like swag and stuff, which mm-hmm. is um, derivative of Lil B, also ironic rap. Arizona iced tea. Um, yeah, I mean, the way I describe my fashion. We're really smart, by the way. <laughs> this is, all these things that we're this saying. This is so serious. All these things that we're saying. <laughs> really, so, I'm like, we're going to get on there and we're going to be like, bit, bit, bit. And here's a bit. And here's a bit. Do this. But describe you know your fashion and then we're, and then we're, we're going to be. In. I've never been <laughs> earnest online and it's starting now. And um, it's starting now. Let's hear about it and then. And then let's look at some of the questions, questions. that people asked on on your Instagram. My style is, if people don't notice this on online, I we usually film a couple things in one day, and I go, Kyle, can I wear one of your sweaters? Or I go, Michael, can I borrow a t-shirt? And that's my style. I also like to. This is okay. This is a thing. This is more serious. I'm so serious right now. I don't like it. But I was gonna say is I like to um, hide my body as a oh my god I hate this but as like a a, a female comedian mm. because I don't want I want people to I'm not afraid to look ugly number one number two I don't want like people to be like oh my god like looking at looking at the goods and I got them believe you believe you me I got them <laughs> Um, but I don't want people, it's true. Or like when I do like, I be, I was also, yeah. we'll get into that too, but like I, I, whatever I was like, I grew up doing improv and stuff and like have been performing live for mm-hmm. many years. And I have like clothes that I wear just for shows because I just want to like, I don't want anything to come out or like look at me in, in a certain way. So that's why, so that's and, why I have shitty fashion sense. But then you... You have to make up for all of that 
by posting like an Instagram photo where your for nipple, example when I'm a your nipple is showing. Shut. Are you nipple, nipple shaming, bro? <laughs> Are you nipple shaming? No, Come on, hey. canceled, canceled in the first good, podcast. It was a good post. It's a fire post. Great Who post. took them? Who took those pictures? You did. No credit. No, because we need. Although what? Because we need to be separate sometimes. I was just gonna say. I was gonna say we kind of need Connery down here to, to I know. fill that space. I know the content. Yeah. The the specifically the photographs, mm-hmm. as well as he just he just puts thoughts in my head. That guy, he puts, he makes me look at the world in a different way. Connery, get down here. He actually is. And in November, I know, but he's gotta, we'll, like, we'll get him on the pod. But he's got to he's got to get down here. He's got to like stay. I know. Montreal um, head ass. Well, we'll see how things go. But bust, bust out that phone and let's see some of these let's questions. Let's see some of these questions. Um, thank you, everyone who submitted a question. A lot of them were funny, and I don't like that. Oh, how about leave? To, how about leave the jokes to someone who's? How about leave the jokes to me? Someone. Mm. How about okay. let me pick? You already read all of them. Your humor is so specific. How did you get the idea to start making comedy videos? God. First, it started, okay. But hmm. actually. For real? Well, because like, you've always done like the improv stuff live and whatever. But when did you start making videos? Videos. I think when we, when videos. Um. Yeah, there was like a time. Yeah, not even that long ago, honestly. I, um, TikTok and stuff. Like I was doing live comedy, specifically improv and sketch. And in Toronto and I did like second city and I was like on an improv troupe in high school and stuff. And, um, yeah, it was always like, I did musical theater a lot because it was like the only thing to do in a small town. And then I was like, okay, I would always get like the funny, the funny role mm-hmm. and I'd kill mm. and I'd kill. And then, um, videos. Yeah. I think I started doing tick tick tock specifically. <sighs> a year and a half ago maybe and I got some friends and I was like can we just like make like three or four videos in a day and let's just like try and then they did quite well and then I would and then I'd fall off I'd like forget to do videos and then I'd do them again and would try less and um but honestly I was thinking about like how much the voice has developed I hate I'm so serious just um yeah how much your voice develops over time and um what was the question that my comedy where does no, it come just, from no 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 just how did you get into making like your yeah like i just it was like an specific. experiment and that's honestly yeah. still how i kind of see it for now mm-hmm. it's like oh let's just it's fun and um and it's like creatively fulfilling to just like put something out yeah do you remember which like tiktok or instagram post was the first one you were where you were like holy shit like this is oh viral that was bef- not even necessarily viral but just like the first time where you got maybe like if it's TikTok, let's say like followers, a hundred thousand views. Yeah, on it was in that time. Like I did like these. Um, what were the videos? I don't even remember. There was one that was like it um, me singing karaoke to my aunt. Like I was singing like a Rihanna song, and then like my neighbor walks in and is like, "Hey, could you be quiet? Like my baby's oh, yeah. sleeping." You were doing it on like a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. it was like. That was one of the first ones, and then I did. That was funny. That was a good one. Thanks. And then that was before we met, I think. And then, oh my god, I don't even remember. Oh, oh. And then there's this one of my friend Jake and I, and we, um, and and there they had an old TV. Oh fuck, that's a good one too. And we were like, what if we smash it somehow? Like something. We have this old TV. What can we do with it? And so we did like um, like a couples moving kind of vlog with like a Harry Styles song underneath and then that was good. we move and then the 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 TV breaks. That was pinned for a while cuz I just loved that one so much, but can you describe your approach to your sense of humor slash biggest comedic influences? Like who who yeah. kind of Truly the way we make our videos, I'll I'll keep it to to this is like um we usually it's stuff like we we laugh when we film that's that's what i think is like the key to all of it is like to actually be enjoying yourself and um and we like surprise each other with 
how we say something or like a lot of the videos we just keep in takes of like when we are laughing and I think that's that's where the magic happens but um and yeah I think it truly it's like a premise of which is so lame but like oh yeah I I have this one video that's like Jenny Tontons where I'm like that server and how, I was in Portugal and I saw the server like kneeling like he like squatted at a table and was taking their order. Yeah. And I was like, what kind of sir? That's like a specific server. I did that when I worked in a restaurant. That's crazy. Okay. Well, keep in mind, I'm kind of tall. You would squat and you, and then, you know what I mean? They're like flirty and they're like, oh, like what's, what are you, what are you ladies up to tonight? Mm. Well, I wasn't like that, but I worked at like a nice restaurant and I can't like. Bend? Bend over and be like, hello. Well, yes, you can. Yeah, but it just felt weird because of of my height so you'd you'd squat yeah i would just squat down and get, no and get down to the table yeah I would. no way i would you can't no especially mm, not I always don't. sometimes listen 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 okay okay sometimes i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't bend I, I wouldn't bend over but um if i couldn't hear them where i was up there i would definitely like i would squat down just straight up Especially if it was like an older person. Would, it, would an they older think person. you're hitting on them? I would think if a, if, a, if a server's squatting next to me, he's hitting on me. No. Well, okay. Well, also, the specific restaurant that I'm thinking of where I did this was the restaurant of a retirement home. So it was all old people. Well, then that's so different. It's a restaurant. So different. It's a restaurant. No, that's, that's, you need to get to their ears. You need to be on ear level. Yeah. Yeah. Different and mouth level. Well, so that they was can the read first restaurant lips. that I worked at. And maybe that, that, quality of mine as a server just stuck with me when i worked at other restaurants okay? damn that is i did not know that i think of you very differently now anyway so, who are your comedic so influences? then i saw that server and then i went okay and then i just that i just um my sister was doing her makeup in the other room and i just kept uh and i just made up that character and i just turned up i just turned the camera i just turned the camera let the magic happen and then all of a sudden you know and then all of a sudden she's viral all of a sudden, wow, it's 7,000 likes or, or, you know. In a comedic excellences, um, mm, probably like... Um, mm. I'm going to ask this question since it's part of it and yeah. it's in here. Someone said, your style reminds me of Kyle Mooney's old Good Neighbor sketches. Yeah, yeah. Is I love that Kyle, an influence? Definitely. I love Kyle Mooney so much and Good Neighbor in general. Their YouTube stuff was like game changing for me. Same. Um, yeah. And, uh, college humor. Um, oh my God. Honestly, like Will Ferrell, Jack Black. I love, I love Nacho Libre. Um, uh, you guys know each other, right? He followed me the other day. It was really cool. Honestly, that I was like, that's sick. But, um, oh my gosh. I love, uh, Jamie Dimitro. Who's like, a he's, he's a British Chris Lilly, um, Amy Poehler, Tina Fey, um, Molly Shannon, uh, I don't know, but also people, like, I think we send each other a lot of, like, genuine people, uh, online who are just characters, just characters in their lives, and I'm like, wow, there's people like this that exist, and that's silly to me, and I think a big thing for me is, like, how, Wow, I'm really just talking. Keep going. I'm just looking at some of these questions. That, that, are... that how I love when I think now that in comedy, there's like, there's not really, there's jokes. There's like written jokes, which is like totally, I love that style of comedy as well. But now there's kind of like just like characters and more of like um, having earnest characters and kind of like, for me, it's like what happens when someone is trying to do something, but then they fail and watching them fail is like really fascinating to me and really funny to me. So that's, does everyone hate me now? Mm -hmm. Did you run into your ex yesterday? Someone asked that. Uh, there's no way for me. Do you have an ex in New York? No. You don't? Not really, eh? Do I don't. Oh. <laughs> no. You don't? No. I think you do. I think I might have two, actually. But are they? They don't really count. Don't say that. I'll say it. 
They none of them lasted more than four months. Okay. Okay. What's a okay? Wh- how long should a relationship last? Well, or like for it to be forever? A, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, how long should it be for it to count? For me, minimum, minimum, like eight months. If you ever say my boyfriend or my girlfriend I've, in doing so, then it's no. a relationship. I never said the last one. Never said that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I guarantee you I never said that. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm gonna I'll go ask on, the most I'm gonna go obvious on the record. question. Hold on, hold on, Are hold you on, dating hold on. all your male roommates? I'm going to go on the girl? record and say that um, mm. both your exes are really good guys, and I like Stop. them. Stop. We're not talking. I'm just saying. They're good guys. They're good guys, and I like them. Yeah. I am single. And, I'm, and I keep up with with one of them you do and i don't yeah that made me i was like as a friend the fact that you didn't you i know told what I mean. you what do you mean i told you you didn't tell me yes, you told I did. me when you had to tell me no i or, didn't like there was some situation and you were like yeah we, we, what, you want we me to keep text up you? and i was like he's never reached out to me do you mean to text you and be like hey no but is, just it, don't. is this cool is this cool no, if, no, we should do that but like we have similar i think interests. everyone can agree that that everyone can agree we have similar interests. He doesn't reach out to me. Um, but like even when you guys were dating and you weren't here mm-hmm. and he was here, he and I would go to... No, you wouldn't. You went oh, to one thing together. We went to chess club. Yes. One, it's quite obvious who it is. No, it's not. No worries there. Nobody knows. So um, He would know if he was watching, of course. Well, if he is, if he is, hey, come hang out. Get on the pod. Get on the pod. For real, for real. What's something else? No matter. Um, um, okay, okay. Can I hit it from the back? No. <laughs> That's actually real. What is real. your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, that's, that was, that was What's yours? One. Guess mine. I'll guess yours. Go first for me. Cookie dough. No. Wait, no. I went with you, honey. Honey something. Okay, now that's special because that's from Van Leeuwen. <laughs> that's special. <laughs> but, well, it is just because no, that's Well, like, that's special because I went with you to Van Leeuwen. But listen, if we're talking like you just walk, you, you blindly walk into an ice cream place. Yeah. Okay, you, guess mine. You don't even try oh, any of their flavors. What are you tr- getting? You're getting vanilla. No, I'm chocolate. not. No. You're getting, you're getting, cookie dough was a good guess. It's not that though. It's kind of close. What is it? Cookies and cream. Oh, really? You should have known that from from the cookie that I like, too. You're right. You're right. Okay. What's mine? Pistachio. No. God, no. I've never even had that. I love pistachios. Oh, you're like a mint chip. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Mint chip. I get it every time. I love it. Actually, no. I only get it when it's like the bright green. I don't want the like natural, like white one. I want it to be like glow in the dark green. Um... It's a white little bitch. Okay. Um, uh, mm, were you ever in Edmonton this summer? I was in Edmonton this summer. Someone saw you. Someone saw me there. Oh, do you have any shows coming up in November in New York? I do. November 11th. November 11th. Saturday, November 11th. It'll be on my Instagram. Come on out. I'm hosting it and doing the whole thing. It'll be really fun. Um, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Um, dream blunt rotation, Ooh. Kyle. <laughs> Come on, this is good. I was just going to say, uh, yeah, it'd be like, um, I can't even say this without laughing because it's just such a stupid joke. But probably like Snoop Dogg, mm-hmm. Willie Nelson, and like Seth Rogen. Jesus. <laughs> That's good. Just three. Just stoners. Three, three stoners. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Because no. that would be funny. As dude, being in a room with Chess Rogan when you're high. Now you're making. I would fun literally. Of me. What? Now you're making fun of me. No, I'm not. Now you're making fun of me. Okay. Do you ever like you know try to figure out which one of those things that we all used to have? Say that again. Do you ever, like, you know, try to figure out which one of those things that we all used to have? Yeah. 100%. Because um, I had a thing. 
And then I was trying to figure it out. And then I, then I remembered I had that thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I, I was going to say basically that. Okay. So you said it for me. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I like, great. Um, what's your favorite movie? Only one. Holy shit. That's a really, okay. I'll say it. And it could be just right now. I've already mentioned it in this podcast. Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre changed my life. Really? And is it Nacho Libre? I watched that movie for the first time when I was, I don't know, I was being babysat by by somebody. My parents were away for a weekend, and I went to this, um, and I went in to to rent a movie, and I chose that one because it was like whatever recently out on DVD, and she was already sleeping or something. So I was just up watching this movie and I've never laughed out loud at a movie before this moment. And mm-hmm. it was like perfect. Like, I, I don't know what it was. It just, it was exactly my sense of humor. And, um, I really liked Jared Hess who also did Napoleon Dynamite. It's also just, I mean, the color schemes guys, you got to check out naturally. Right. Is it cancelable? No one's canceled him for doing it. Oh, it's fine. No. Um, you're, you're going to hate this. Okay. But Fight Club. No, no. <laughs> I'm not saying my favorite movie yet. I'm just gonna say that I. You've seen it. I've seen Nacho Libre one time. And you hate it. And I just didn't like it. But That's I was young, fine. and also probably not like. I probably should rewatch it. But in my head, mm-hmm. when I think about Nacho Libre, because Zach loves it, I know so many people who love it. I'm just like, I don't like that movie. But I've only seen it once, and my judgment's based on the one time I saw it when I was like 14 or whenever it came out. Also. I like movies that are, what's that called? When either you hate it or you love it. Um, polarizing? Polarizing. I'll say that that's a polarizing movie. I'll go that far. I've got I a will. great vocab. You have a good one. Mm-hmm. And I like it when you explain There's another what word words for that. mean to me. What's that word? What? We're having a good vocab. I don't know. I should probably know this if I'm going having, on Oh, yeah. Uh, having dictionary for brain. No, you've got a good, I, I feel like it starts with a D. Oh, not dialect. No, no, no. The... It might not start with a D. It might start with something else. Uh, anyway, my favorite movie? Please. I, I have a top five, but I'm going to pick one from the top five that I think is ultimately my favorite. And okay. that's What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Mm, good one. It's a great one. And it's a good one. I, it's one of those movies I watched by myself. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, damn. You like a sad movie. But it's not, it is sad, but it's also not really that sad. Like, it's not like, it's just kind of one of those like nothing movies. It's just like a moment in time you see the character of Gilbert eating a change, grape. change a little bit. Yeah. But not that much. But um, no, specifically Leonardo DiCaprio in that. Yeah. I'm just like so Amazing. convinced of his performance in mm-hmm. that. If I ever told you the dream that I had about, um, winning an Oscar. No. Okay. So I was at the Oscars. Okay. Don't know why well. or what it was for, but I'm at the Oscars and I win best, uh, lead, whatever, actor. best actor. Wow. I won best actor in a feature film. Okay. And I was like, holy shit. And I go up on stage, no script written of like what I'm going to say. And I'm looking out and I see everyone standing out there and I'm like, fuck, this is crazy. And the first thing I say, I get the award and whatever. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The first thing I say in my dream, I look out, I'm going like this. I say to the mic, where's Leo? (laughs) And I'm looking (laughs) and then I see him and I go like this. I point at him in the dream and I go, you should have won the Oscar for what's eating Gilbert Grape. What's he eating Gilbert Grape years ago? You should have won the Oscar. And the fact that you just got it recently is whatever. Like I said something along those lines. That's a crazy dream. I know. And then I was like, it's people like you and everyone else that came before and after you, whatever, that have inspired me and allowed me to be up here. And the fact that you didn't win for that is bullshit Insane. or whatever. Insane. Insane. Because that's like a a real, I mean, it's not a realistic dream. I mean, you're never going to win. That's just, like, come on. What? <laughs> I was just going to say, now when I win an Oscar, I have to do that. Now when you win an Oscar. I literally yeah. have to do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, truly, I know. Because he did win eventually, Revenant. Which is... Which, which I agree. I God, agree. I agree. That? Young Leo was like the man. I loved him. He's so... 
The fact good. that he was nominated for that and did not win is, is crazy. Crazy. Are you going to be in character the whole podcast episode? Nope. No, and I honestly wish I was, but I feel like that would actually be more draining. But no. Biggest, well, we're going to answer this one first. Do you and Caucasian James have a crush on each other? <laughs> All right, let's fill the tea. Do Caucasian James and I have a crush on each other? I love Caucasian James. He's one of my best friends um, in LA. We spent most of my time I spent with him. Do you know his last name? Yes. I don't know his last name. I don't know if I can say it. Don't say it. But because he's Caucasian it. James. But yeah. it's just so funny he's, to me. He's to just like, James to me. To be known as as like your Twitter handle. I know. Well, yeah, it, he was Caucasian James on my phone for so long. And then he got mad one day where he's like, you need to change that. Like we're friends. And I was like, I know. I just like, I just keep whatever the first thing is. And even Michael doesn't have a last name, but you have a last name because you just told, I forget why. But anyways, um, James and I, James is, James is my really good friend and I love him a lot. Um, and he's so cute and... James is, listen, he's a bachelor right now. Ooh, he's a bachelor, but no, and he really never is. dated. He really is a bachelor. <laughs> no, no, he's great. He's one of the best people I know. He's wonderful. Mm. Let's see if we can just rip through like quick answer questions. Like just ones that are just like, it doesn't take more. Okay. Than, okay. Where did you get your Coney 2012 shirt? I got it from the fucking actual Invisible Children website when I was a stupid high schooler because I thought <laughs> I, I was didn't making- didn't know that. Because I thought I was making For a real? Yep. That's incredible. That's incredible that you never threw it out. Um, Genius. Can I date your friend? Maybe. Maybe. Hit the DMs. We'll see what happens. Um, wave check. It's like, it's like is that what hair. that is? Yeah. Wave check. Oh, I didn't <clears> know that. Can you do a backflip? No, can you? No, but I really want to. You're too old now. No, that's not true. I'm, just I'm gonna, gonna say. learn a backflip just to just to prove, prove me you wrong. wrong. Go for it. Are most of your videos improv? Yeah. Yep, they are. They have a little premise, and then we just improvise. Mm -hmm. Some of them keep each other laugh. What? Yes, yeah, I was just gonna say some of them kind of happen like mm -hmm. accidentally, even. Mm. Um, um, excited about the new Big Bang Theory spinoff. Yes, I am. And I can't. Uh, we're having the party. We're doing the Big Bang Theory party. Right. And at you're your place. And I'm Sheldon. Yes. Yeah. And I'm young Sheldon. Yep. Yep. All right. Last question. Okay. Can I suck your ass? Someone wants to know. Yep. Can I <sighs> suck your ass? No. No. You can't. Can they or can you? Did you say can I? Can they? Oh, yeah. I thought you Why said. Why can't I? I someone who knows you. I know it's just a little. It'd be weird. Why? Because we're friends. You can't suck my ass. Okay. If something went wrong, and then you'd rather a stranger suck your ass than me. Yeah, because then I could just. What do you mean? What's what is that motion? Just kick him to the curb. Oh, I thought you were like. Like they do it. No, they do it, and then it's like, okay, that was weird, but I don't have to see you ever again. But if I did, you'd be like, you want to get breakfast? Yeah, and I'd look in your teeth, and there'd just be a bunch of... Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we'll be back next week, you guys. Also, the tentative name of this is... <laughs> Sen three, two, one. Sen three what is it? I was going to say sensitive. What is it? Never mind. Yeah. All right. Okay. You just said it. All right, that's Three, never two, one. one never never mind. mind, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. in. And hey, please, next guys. time, you guys got it. Take it out and subscribe and like and comment. Hey, no, and if you have any questions for us, uh, here's a message from our sponsors. We have Better no help. sponsors. We have no sponsors. Please sponsor us and please comment down below any questions that you have. Um, and we'll get we'll get better at this. That was fine. That was good. Yeah.